Hey guys and gals, Kiriyama Sparty here with a, uh, it's been a while so I figured I'd do another statue review. And uh, this one actually kind of flew under my radar. Uh, it's by DC Collectibles and it's a black, white, and red Harley Quinn statue from uh, Batman Arkham City. And uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, when I first saw the packaging I was surprised because it looks very similar to the... Uh, to the new 52 uh, cover girls of the DC universe and I thought it was part of the line <laughs> but I, I, I guess not, no, it's its, its own thing uh, so as you know uh, with the normal reviews I'm gonna go through the packaging and then we'll eventually take a look at the statue, we'll talk about the sculpt, the paint uh, no accessories for this one, there's generally not any for the statues or posability so you know what you gonna do <laughs> uh, so we'll start off here uh, as you can see, very nice picture. Uh, it, it really draws you in. I do like the black, white, and red aesthetic, uh, not just black and white. Very nice. There's a nice shot of our girl there. And then uh, some of the other statues. Of course, there's the new 52 Harley Quinn you can pick up. And I don't know if I mentioned this yet, but here they're showing the version 2 of Harley Quinn from Amikami. Uh, let's see if I can zoom in here. I don't know if you've seen the full picture of her, if this ever, there you go, if it focuses, but I don't know if it's just me, but I hate this statue. Okay, no, it's not just me. I, sh I showed Sarah that, and she's like, no, that's that's a terrible Harley Quinn statue. Uh, yeah, seriously, look up the Amikami Harley Quinn version 2. It's just not good. I have the first one, and I'm, it's all right. I'm still not a big fan of it, but eh. <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah, so, and there's the full statue, very nice, and uh, I thought they'd put like a little mark on the top like they did with the other ones, but it's just Batman Arkham City, but uh, you can see how I thought it was part of the Cover Girls line, I mean, uh, the, <laughs> they look really similar, uh, yeah, that's a nice shot, <laughs> anyway, uh, so that's the packaging, and uh, yeah, and we'll get to the statue right away here. And there she is. And I gotta say, guys, this statue is fantastic. I really, really dig it. Uh, it's got a lot of great detail. Um, a lot of care was clearly put into it. And it's, come on, that's a total Harley Quinn pose. I would have preferred if she had her bat from the video game, but yeah, beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> There's a nice pan out shot, so I'll just... That's how she'll be sitting in your display cabinets if you pick her up. There you go. Anyway, uh, so as you can see, she got her. Uh, she still has her tattoos from the video game, and in really good detail too. Like uh, even zoomed in there. See, that is that is nicely done. I mean, you can kind of see the outlines. I think it's just a sticker put on there, but you know what? It works. Uh, she's got another one on her arm here. And it's nicely done as well. Good old Mr. J. And uh, where is it? Oh, this too. This is a real chain. I like that. It's, it's a oh, my fingers in the way. There you go. It's a real chain. It's it's awesome. <laughs> that is really nice. I like that. Uh, they did that with the uh, uh, like the Arkham City. I think they're just six inch figures or whatever. Uh, I've got them all, but she, she's she got a real chain on that one, too. And it's little things like that that can really, really sell a statue, and I appreciate it anytime it's done. So, yeah, uh, no real complaints. Uh, there's a little bit of bleeding on uh, some spots, like uh, her... <laughs> I hate to say that this is the one I noticed, but her thong uh, is red with black in the middle, and it kind of bleeds into each other, and, and I think on the back it bleeds in on the skin a bit, but, it, like, not enough to really... You have to be looking really hard. See? Look really hard. Look really... No. <laughs> uh, no, this is a great statue, and I'm quite happy I picked it up. Uh, happy little surprise. <laughs> I think it's still available. I picked it up for about... Um, I think it was about 130 bucks here. So it's a bit more than the Cover Girls of the DC Universe, but, you know, it's all right. And then just for size comparison, I got new 52 Harley here. So as you can see, she's a bit, she's a bit bigger, but you know that's okay. That's just fine. And then for the ultimate size comparison, <laughs> can't 
I keep forgetting to do this, but uh, there's a nice size of nice Jameson's bottle. So that's about where they come to on that. So, <laughs> once again, I'm Curion Sparta. If you had a good time here, please hit that like or subscribe button. And, uh, yeah, me and Sarah will be doing some more reviews on Wednesday. And uh, I don't think I have another figure coming in until uh, Hot Toys Joker 2.0. So, yeah, I'm going to have to start going through all the stuff in my cabinet. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one, YouTube.